what was happening in Russia, military mutiny or coup attempt, the attention of the entire world public in the last 24 hours was focused on Russia, and the situation with the military rebellion of the private military company Wagner against the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation and against the state itself. But with the mediation of the president of Belarus, a full-scale conflict and the scenario of a civil war in Russia were avoided. We will find out what Prigozhin agreed with Lukashenko in the coming days. But what really happened in the past 24 hours? What was happening in Russia was real, and Russia was on the verge of civil war. No secret plans, operations, or disguises were involved. Wagner and Prigozhin went against the Russian state, that is, against the Ministry of Defense. The fact is that it is an ideally prepared operation for a military rebellion against the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, and structures from the Russian army also participated in the rebellion. Perfect timing. The movement of Wagner's columns towards Moscow took place without any military obstacles from the Russian army, with the exception of the Russian Air Force, which lost six military helicopters and one aircraft. Yesterday, the private military company Wagner announced that the Russian army, on the orders of Minister Shoigu, attacked Wagner's military bases, and this was used by Wagner and Prigozhin as a reason to announce a campaign on Rostov-on-Don, the center of the southern military district, and on Moscow, and they said they were looking for the heads of Shoigu and Gerasimov. Unhindered by anyone and without firing a single shot, Wagner's units took control of the most important military facilities in Rostov-on-Don, plus the military airfields. The main military headquarters responsible for the war in Ukraine was brought under control. Wagner's military columns from Rostov-on-Don and from Voronezh began a march on Moscow. From the Donbas to Rostov-on-Don, other Wagner military columns were arriving all the time. Putin said that it was a criminal adventure, a military rebellion. Intense negotiations took place all day as Wagner's columns advanced towards Moscow. When Wagner's military columns were 120 miles from Moscow, an agreement was reached through the mediation of Lukashenko. Why the attempted military coup that could have led Russia to a 1,917-like civil war happened? The conflict between Wagner and the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has been going on since 2016, the Battle of Palmyra in the deserts of Syria, and especially after the battle in Hasham, when the members of Wagner, despite the previous agreement with the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation that they would be provided with air and air defenses were left in the lurch, and U.S. military aviation destroyed Wagner's positions for several hours. The conflict intensified during the Battle of Bakhmut and reached its peak and finale when the Russian Duma passed a law forcing all volunteer military units and private military companies to sign a contract with the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. Wagner reneged on such an agreement. These days, an event happened that forced Wagner and Prigozhin into action. What exactly? We may never know. What happened has and will have huge consequences on the image and reputation of the Russian Federation plus proof of a serious crisis of Russian institutions and government. Personnel changes and additional militarization of Russia follow. Most likely, Shoigu, Gerasimov, and maybe even Prigozhin will be sidelined. The West will strengthen its support to Ukraine even more. The days of Putin's rule are numbered. And when we talk about the ability of the Russian armed forces, all you need to know is that their main striking fist in Ukraine is a private military company, and their main trump card for defending Russia from disintegration is Katerov's Chechen units. Total breakdown. Terrorist Gherkin Strelkov is writing, I have to admit with great bitterness that the Russian Federation is one step closer to its final and irrevocable demise. As of today, the Russian Federation has two presidents. The real president, Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin, and Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, the acting president to serve his term. The main purpose of the acting president is to periodically address the real president, kneeling down with the question, what do you want, Yevgeny Viktorovich? Never, even in my worst nightmare, I couldn't imagine that I would see this shame and destruction of my country. Zelensky stated, the man from the Kremlin is obviously very afraid and is probably hiding somewhere, not showing his face. I'm sure he's not in Moscow anymore. 
Today the world saw that the masters of Russia do not control anything, nothing at all, just complete chaos, complete lack of any predictability. And this is on Russian territory, which is full of weapons. The world should not be afraid. We know what protects us. Only our unity. Ukraine will definitely be able to protect Europe from any Russian forces. And it does not matter who commands them. We will protect. The security of the eastern flank of Europe depends only on our defense. And that is why every manifestation of support for our defense is support for your defense. Everyone in the free world. Russian media share a video of Wagner mercenaries leaving the premises of the headquarters of the South Military District in Rostov. And this is worrying for Putin. People are chanting, Wagner, Wagner, near the southern military district headquarters in Rostov. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.